Today, I'd like to make a tutorial on how to connect the V8 sound card to the computer using the software Audacity. Now, Audacity is a software that you could use to record your voice and also different musical instruments. And it can also do editing, mixing, and mastering. So, if you are a composer and you would like to create a song or a musician, this tutorial is good for you. So, this is the V8 sound card. As you can see here, there are lots of buttons at the bottom of the V8 sound card. And this one are examples of the sound effects. Normally, they use this for the live streaming. Now, what you can use for the recording, we have here the treble, the bass, the microphone volume, and also the reverb. And the rest of the buttons here, you will be using it for the live streaming. Now, if we're going to look at the back side of the V8 sound card, you can see here Live 1 and Live 2. They normally connect this to the mobile phone, then you, they will just be using the cable, like the cable for charging the phone, and then Live 2 connecting again to the mobile phone and using the camera. Now, why they're using two cameras so that they can get two cam view, different angles? This accompanying instrument, they normally also connect this to the mobile phone where they can just use the minus one from the YouTube to be able to sing a song together with the minus one. So again, it's live one, live two, and accompanying instrument, they're using it for the live streaming. Now, for the charging, definitely it's used to charge this V8, but this charging can also be used to connect the V8 sound card to the computer. Now we have here the earphone, and this one, if you would like to hear the sound, you just put your earphone here, and we have the headset, the sound, and the mic here. And we have here the condenser mic. They will be plugging in here, and also the dynamic mic. Now, this dynamic mic, we will be using this one to plug in the guitar. Another device that I will be using for recording, I have here the EM800 set. So as you can see, it comes with the microphone filter, and this one is what you call the microphone holder, and we have here the microphone stand, and of course, the condenser mic and the microphone cable. Now, if you will be setting up the microphone stand, you just need to find a table and then insert the edge of the table here and then lock it. Now, this one, you will be connecting it at the back side of the V8 sound card. Okay, I may mention that we'll be using Audacity software for the recording. And Audacity software is a free software that we can just download online. And if you don't have yet Audacity software, I can teach you how to download it online. So for example, you're using the Mac computer, you just need to click Safari and type here Audacity free download and then enter. And then after that, you will be seeing this website www.audacityteam.org and just click the link okay so we're inside the website now and you could see here download audacity so just click that one and you can download the audacity software now since i downloaded already the audacity so all we need to do is to close this and let's go to the launch pad and you will be seeing this icon Audacity and just click that one. So this is the software that I'll be using a little later for the recording. Now, let's connect the V8 sound card to the computer. So in connecting the V8 sound card to the computer, we'll be using this cable. Okay, this cable is also the cable that you're using for charging your Android mobile phones. So as you can see here, at the back of the VA sound card you can see here charging so just connect this there here and then 
after that connect this to the USB port of your computer so you have it here there it's already connected so as you can see when I connected it then automatically there is a light here so you could just switch on the light switch on this uh, press this one so that it will be switched on so my Vade sound card is already on then after that you just need to have a monitor for the sound you would be using an earphone so we'll be connecting this earphone to the V8 sound card also here you can see the earphone speaker so connect it here and then after that okay we'll be connecting the guitar so I may mention a while back that I'll be using the dynamic mic for the guitar so this is the cable that I'll be using for the guitar so this is an acoustic guitar so I have here an external pickup so I connect it here and then I connect with this here to the dynamic mic so as you can see uh, this one is used to connect the V8 sound card to the computer this one for the monitoring of the sound you will be using an earphone and I have connected the guitar to the dynamic mic so because if you are going to make a song normally for me what I do I record first the instruments and then after the instruments then we can record the voice so as you could see that the V8 song card is already connected to my computer using this white cable now for my computer to read the V8 song card you just need to change the setting of the sound of my computer so all you need to do is to go to the launch pad and then go to system preferences and then look for the sound so as you can see that's the sound so click the sound now you go to sound effects you have your sound effects you have your output and the input the first thing to do go to sound effects and then you can see here play sound effects true of course you won't be using the internal speakers but we will be using the usb audio this usb audio is the v8 sound card so i'll be clicking this one and after the sound effects go to the output okay change the uh, change it to the usb audio so click that one and then after that go to the input then click the usb audio again so that one so we have changed the setting already from our computer so my computer now can read the big sound card now after changing the settings of your computer you need also to do some changes on the audacity software so launch that again open audacity software where are you? So you can see the icon Audacity. So I'll be clicking that. Now, here, go to the microphone. You have your microphone. Normally, it's in the built in microphone. So change that one to the USB audio. And also for the speaker, change that to uh, USB audio. That's the V8 sound card. So, we have changed all the settings from the computer and also from the Audacity software. So we are all set. Let's start recording. So as you can see that I'll be using my acoustic guitar and my acoustic guitar is connected to the V8 sound card. So I actually use this cable. Now in recording the guitar, you will be needing an earphone so that you'll be hearing the guitar being recorded. So I'll be using now this earphone. And again, this earphone is connected to the V8 sound card. Then let's open the Audacity software. So that's the icon for the Audacity software. Okay. 
So all you need to do to record the guitar, just click this record button here. So I'll be clicking it now. So, as you can see that I have already recorded the guitar and if you would like to hear uh, the sound of your recording, I can actually hear it from my earphone but I would just use the built-in uh, speaker of my laptop for you to hear the recording. So you could change from here from USB audio then to built-in output and then display it now. So as you can see, the guitar, the, the guitar is being recorded. You can still improve the sound of the guitar. I, I may mention that this software, you could use it for editing, mixing and mastering so we have recorded the guitar so our next objective is to record the voice now in recording the voice there are some things that we need to change from the audacity settings now a while back we have chosen this usb audio and we need now to change that from the usb audio to the built-in output so let's let me click that one built-in output and then after that you need to pull out this earphone from the V8 sound card and plug it in to the laptop now this one we're done recording the guitar so I don't need this anymore so I need to pull this out and then I'll be using now the condenser mic so I need to plug it in here we have the option here condenser mic so I'll put it here okay so I need to use the microphone at this point in time now to record the voice all you need to do is to press shift R that's for the overdubbing now, let me explain why I changed the settings from the Audacity. Because if I did not change the settings, if I will be doing the overdub, the guitar that we have recorded on the first track will again be recorded on the second track. That's not our objective. Our objective only is to record the voice on the second track. That's why I changed the setting. Okay, so let's start recording the voice. So again, let us press. Shift and R. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Lord, have your ways in me. So as you can see that the voice is already recorded. And let's play the, the voice. I need to mute the guitar and let's just play the voice.
I don't know if you can hear it, but the voice is already recorded. You know, the good thing about using the V8 sound card for the Audacity, the features of the Audacity, the sound effects of the Audacity, okay, it's being reflected on the Audacity software. That's the good thing about that. So at this point in time, we're able to record the guitar and we're also to, able to record the voice. And if you would like to add more instruments, okay, what you can do, just do the same process just like I did. So I hope that this tutorial will help you in creating a song. Thank you so much. At this point, I hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial and also I hope that it will help you record your song in the cheapest possible way. Why I'm saying in the cheapest possible way because if you're going to look at the online websites like asada.com.ph you will see the VM800. It will cost you around 900 to 1,200 pesos. And if you're going to look at the V8 sound card, it will cost you approximately 1,000 pesos. So just follow the procedures that I've just presented. And if you encounter any challenges in the future, just feel free to comment on the comment section. And I'll be very much happy to answer all your questions. And for non-subscribers, I hope that you can subscribe click the like button and also click the notification. That's all for now and God bless everyone.